and researchers say that this suggests that planet may be teeming with microbial life. This does not confirm the discovery of actual living organisms, but rather a possible biosignature. NASA just uncovered a groundbreaking discovery. Multiple Earth-like planets are closer than we ever imagined, and they could hold the key to finding life beyond our solar system. With advanced telescopes revealing these potential second Earths, the hunt for habitable worlds is heating up. But here's the twist. Some of these planets could be hiding secrets that could change everything we know about space. Ready to find out what NASA just uncovered? Watch now, the quest for a second Earth. What if Earth wasn't the only place like this? What if hiding in the vastness of space, there were multiple second Earths? And what if they were closer than anyone imagined? What is the habitable zone or Goldilocks zone? That question isn't science fiction anymore. NASA just made headlines with a breakthrough that could change everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. Using the most advanced space telescopes and data from recent missions, scientists have confirmed the presence of several Earth-like planets, not in some far-off galaxy, but in our cosmic neighborhood. These worlds aren't just rocky and similar in size to Earth. Some of them sit perfectly in what scientists call the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, just right for liquid water to exist. For decades, astronomers have scanned the skies in search of other habitable planets. But until now, the evidence was scattered, the technology limited, and the results uncertain. That has all changed. With powerful tools like the James Webb Space Telescope and TESS, NASA has shifted from simply finding exoplanets to deeply analyzing their atmospheres. This search for second Earths is more than a scientific race. It's a quest tied deeply to human curiosity and survival. If other planets can support life, could we one day visit them? Could they be our backup if Earth becomes uninhabitable? Or do they simply remind us how rare and precious our own planet is? NASA's findings have opened a new chapter, not just in space exploration, but in how we understand the universe and our role within it. The age-old question, are we alone, suddenly feels closer to being answered, and the truth might be orbiting just a few light years away. TRAPPIST-1 System As NASA hunts for Earth-like worlds, one star system stands out like a cosmic jackpot, the TRAPPIST-1 system. First revealed to the world in 2017 by NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, this distant star shocks scientists with a discovery that still echoes across the space community. Seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a single ultra-cool dwarf star just 40 light-years away. In galactic terms, that's practically in our backyard. What makes TRAPPIST-1 so special isn't just the number of planets, it's their potential. Out of the seven, three, TRAPPIST-1, E, F, and G are positioned perfectly within the star's habitable zone, the sweet spot where temperatures might allow for liquid water to exist on the surface. And where there's water, the potential for life follows. But the surprises don't end there. These planets are huddled incredibly close to their dim host star, so close that all seven would easily fit within the orbit of Mercury in our own solar system. Because the star is much cooler and smaller than our sun, the planets aren't scorched. Instead, they receive just the right amount of heat to keep things interesting. Even more intriguing, the planets are likely tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star, while the other remains in permanent darkness. This could create extreme but fascinating climate zones unlike anything on Earth. NASA didn't stop at discovery. Follow-up observations using the Hubble Space Telescope suggest that at least three of the planets lack thick, hydrogen-dominated atmospheres, hinting strongly at rocky, terrestrial surfaces, not gas giants. That's a crucial clue for scientists looking for solid ground, impossible life. TRAPPIST-1 is now a prime target for the James Webb Space Telescope, which is aiming to peer into their atmospheres and detect key ingredients like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and even methane, potential signs of life or at least habitability. This system isn't just another discovery, it's a cosmic goldmine. It gives us a front row seat to study real Earth-sized planets and maybe, just maybe, catch the first whiff of alien air. K2-18b. Just when TRAPPIST-1 had our attention, another planet threw the scientific world into a frenzy. K2-18b, located 124 light years away in the constellation Leo, this exoplanet orbits within the habitable zone of a red dwarf star, and recent discoveries have made it one of the most exciting candidates in the search for alien life. K2-18b isn't your typical rocky Earth twin. It's what scientists call a Hycean world, a planet potentially covered in a massive global ocean beneath a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. It's nearly three times the size of Earth and about 8.6 times heavier, 
suggesting a deep, dense composition, possibly hiding an ocean that could stretch hundreds of kilometers deep. But here's where things get shocking. Recent data from the James Webb Space Telescope revealed traces of dimethyl sulfide and dimethyl disulfide in its atmosphere. On Earth, these chemicals are mostly produced by marine plankton, tiny ocean organisms. Finding them on another planet is a massive deal. If these compounds were indeed created by biological activity, K218b might be the first world outside our solar system where signs of life have been detected. To add to the excitement, the Webb telescope also spotted methane and carbon dioxide swirling through the planet's atmosphere. Gas is often linked to biological or geothermal processes. The combination of water-rich conditions and these organic molecules has fueled global headlines and sparked debate across the scientific community. Of course, caution remains. These compounds could also have non-biological origins, and the data, while groundbreaking, is still being reviewed. Scientists urge the public not to jump to conclusions, but the buzz is real. The idea that microbial life might be swimming in alien oceans just 124 light years away is no longer confined to science fiction. K218. B has become a poster planet for what could be out there. It challenges everything we thought we knew about life-friendly environments. If future missions confirm what we're seeing, K218b could go down in history as the first alien world where life was found, changing how we see ourselves and our place in the universe forever. TOI 700 system. Just when scientists thought finding one potentially habitable planet was rare, the TOI 700 system flipped the script, revealing not one, but multiple Earth-sized worlds in the habitable zone of a single star. Located about 100 light years away in the Dorado constellation, this system has become a major highlight in NASA's hunt for life-supporting exoplanets. TOI 700 is a calm red dwarf star, smaller and cooler than our sun, but with a much longer lifespan. This slow-burning star hosts at least four planets, and two of them, TOI 700 and TOI 700, are especially exciting. Both lie in the habitable zone, the region where temperatures might allow water to exist as a liquid. TOI 700, the first discovered, is almost exactly the size of Earth and completes an orbit every 37 days. Not long after, scientists uncovered TOI 700, slightly smaller but still within Earth-size range. It circles the star even faster, finishing an orbit in just 28 days. Both planets are likely tidally locked. What's truly shocking is the idea that two potentially habitable planets could exist side by side in the same system. This raises the possibility of not just life, but perhaps even ecosystems developing in parallel, completely separate yet under the same star. It's like finding two Earths in the same cosmic street. The discovery was made possible by NASA's TESS, Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which scans the sky for small dips in starlight caused by planets crossing in front of their stars. Without it, the quiet whispers of TOI 700 might have gone unheard. TOI 700 has gone from an anonymous star to a headline-making planetary system, reminding us that the universe might be far more crowded with life-friendly worlds than we ever imagined. James Webb Space Telescope The game-changer in the search for a second Earth didn't come in the form of a spaceship. It came with a golden mirror gliding through space. Launched in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has quickly become the sharpest eye humanity has ever turned toward the stars. And what it's seeing is nothing short of incredible. Unlike any telescope before it, the James Webb Space Telescope sees the universe in infrared. This means it can peer through cosmic dust and darkness to detect the faintest signals from distant planets. But its real superpower? Studying exoplanet atmospheres in shocking detail, when a planet passes in front of its star, some of the starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere. Webb captures that light and breaks it down to reveal the chemical fingerprints hiding within. Gases like methane, carbon dioxide, even potential biosignatures like dimethyl sulfide. Its extreme sensitivity also means that planets once considered too small or too dim to study are now on the map. It's revealing what these distant worlds are made of, how hot or cold they are, and whether they could actually support life. Even more fascinating, James Webb Space Telescope isn't just analyzing one or two planets. Its mission includes dozens each year, building a vast catalog of planetary profiles. Each new finding adds a puzzle piece, helping scientists understand how common Earth-like conditions really are in the galaxy. Think of the James Webb Space Telescope as not just a telescope, but a time machine and a life hunter rolled into one. It's looking back in time, billions of years, while also scanning for signs of present-day life beyond Earth. 
The discoveries it's making are not only changing our view of specific planets, but redefining what it even means for a world to be habitable. Thanks to Webb, the search for a second Earth is no longer just a dream. It's an active investigation, with new suspects emerging every month, closer than expected. What if the next Earth-like world isn't as far away as we once thought? Recent discoveries have rocked the foundation of space exploration, revealing exoplanets that are startlingly close, and they might just harbor the conditions we need for life. One of the most electrifying revelations is the discovery of LHS 475b, an Earth-sized planet just 41 light-years away. What makes this one stand out is its rocky composition and its orbit around a red dwarf star. It's like Earth's twin in terms of size, but much closer than any previous contender, offering a tantalizing opportunity for further study. But LHS 475b isn't the only close neighbor raising eyebrows. Proxima Centauri b, at a mere 4.2 light years, is an even stronger candidate. Orbiting within the habitable zone of its red dwarf star, it could have liquid water, one of the key ingredients for life as we know it. This proximity makes Proxima Centauri be a high priority target for future exploration. Then there's Barnard Star B, sitting just six light years away. This super Earth might not be the warm, welcoming world we're hoping for, it's likely frozen, but its proximity still makes it relevant. It's a reminder that even planets that don't meet all the conditions for life are valuable for the insights they can provide about planet formation and survival. Thanks to projects like ESA's KEOPS and NASA's TESS, the discovery of habitable exoplanets is no longer just a distant hope. It's becoming a reality. These missions have cataloged dozens of planets within 100 light years. And what's more shocking is that many of these planets orbit M dwarfs, stars that are cooler and dimmer than our sun, but are far more common. This increases the odds of finding life-supporting planets in our galactic neighborhood. However, it's not just about finding planets. The real challenge is understanding how solar activity, like radiation from these cooler stars, could affect the habitability of these worlds. Scientists are diving deep into how these planets might weather the harsh conditions surrounding them. And it's not just about observation anymore. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot are already considering how to send ultra-fast light-propelled probes to these nearby exoplanets, bringing the dream of interstellar travel within the realm of possibility. Perhaps not in centuries, but within decades, this isn't just the stuff of science fiction. The search for a second Earth is no longer a far-off fantasy. It's closer than we ever imagined. From sci-fi to reality. For decades, sci-fi movies like Interstellar, Avatar, and The Martian have painted vivid pictures of humanity fleeing to or colonizing Earth-like planets. These captivating tales, once confined to the big screen, now feel closer to reality than ever. The concept of a second Earth is no longer a far-off dream. It's becoming a real possibility. With companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin ramping up their efforts, the idea of deep space colonization is moving from fantasy to a serious global endeavor. As these private and governmental space missions push forward, the question is no longer, can we leave Earth? But how soon can we? The dream of settling on another planet might be just around the corner, with governments and private firms preparing for the inevitable next step, expanding humanity beyond our home planet. The discovery of potential biosignatures on planets like K218b has taken us one step closer to confirming alien life. Once a topic relegated to science fiction, now grounded in scientific evidence, could we find signs of life on distant worlds? As more and more exoplanets show signs of habitability, this thrilling question is shifting from imagination to something scientists are actively investigating. Yet as we set our sights on these distant planets, ethical concerns loom large. Philosophers and scientists are already debating the implications of colonizing alien worlds. Who owns these planets? What about the risk of contaminating them? How do we ensure peaceful coexistence with any potential life forms? These are questions that must be answered before humanity takes its next great leap. Beyond just finding another home, scientists are also studying the genetic and psychological adaptations that humans will need to thrive in space for long periods. Could we adapt to living in low gravity? How would we cope with the isolation of deep space? These questions are crucial for our future off-Earth survival. NASA's Artemis missions and the Mars projects are preparing us for this new frontier. They'll serve as the springboards that could launch us toward exoplanet exploration within the next century. But as we look to the stars, there's an urgent reminder. The more we learn about these second Earths, the more we understand how fragile our own Earth truly is. The dream of exploring other planets may soon be a reality, 
But the real question is, how soon will we be ready to take that leap into the unknown? As we inch closer to this new era, one thing is certain. The journey has only just begun. The universe has secrets waiting to be uncovered, and we're on the verge of discovering them. The search for second Earths is just beginning, and who knows what other secrets lie beyond the stars. As we get closer to uncovering the truth, there's still so much to discover. Stay tuned for more shocking revelations. Like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next.